Hey guys, it's Tom, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on like useful tips on gradient maps and how to make them look really good and stuff. And my brother's just being a retard right beside me. Yeah. Um. Anyway, but before I start, I want to say congrats to Quantum on getting second place in Robots Vid. I'm still wondering who's first. And congrats to him. Hopefully, he'll get a lot more subs than he has already, because he deserves it. Anyway, on to the tutorial. Uh, I've got a nice kind of background, kind of HD background of a kind of Japanese landscape. I'm not just saying Japanese, it, it said in the image description, but anyway. Um, so you want to go layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map. Now, gradient maps add like a nice finishing kind of color correction to your piece. And I think with this, I'm just going to say what looks good and I'll say how to make your own. I never use the presets, because in my opinion they're a bit newbie. I don't know, I'm not not newbie, I'm just saying they're just... You could make your own which look a lot better. But if I go for a kind of lightish blue, like a more turquoisey blue, kind of. And a dark blue, like really near the bottom. And then get a yellow, a quite light unsaturated yellow, so about there. And then move this little thing, this like thing, so it kind of changes if it's more yellow or more blue, and I move the blue up a bit because I want the blue to come out a bit more. Click OK. And then on this gradient map, you want to overlay it. And look at that already, it's looking a lot nicer compared to the before. But I don't keep on 100% opacity, usually it's 50, but this looks good with 70. You can see the big difference, it looks really nice. Also, I always put an extra gradient map for like a, the hint of whatever color I want as well. Because I think this needs kind of a hint of pink or red. You might think that's a bit weird, but if you take a look, I'll put a darkish pink. And then a uh, kind of light red. You probably think, what the hell? But if I overlay this, and then I turn the opacity down to like 40, it looks pretty nice. Just like, like, a, like a hint of red. It gives it a really nice kind of look but for your own gradient maps I just say get the image go layer you know new adjustment layer gradient map and what you want is you go into the first color and whatever color you choose make it dark I mean it's full color strength but make it dark like really near the bottom because it makes the best kind of endings and choose a color that will kind of clock there complement the image because I chose blue because it will look nice with a kind of like a kind of blue kind of overcast not overcast like kind of film yeah film look but you can choose like any color if if you want it a complement of red because red can look nice warm colors and then usually is the high color I only usually use orange or yellow and I don't really use a lot more. I mean, I could try blue, but I say yellow and orange look good to bring out colours. Like, they're good colours. And if you don't, don't do it full strength like that. I mean, make it a bit lighter. And then once you've done that, I always move the darker colour up a bit. Because it just makes it kind of overall nicer, I think. I mean, it's opinionated. I'll try this blue. Overlay it. And actually, it looks quite... It looks really nice. I mean, I never keep the... Overly. I I never keep the opacity at one hundred percent. Like I said, like fifty percent is good. You know, I mean, just there's lots of useful stuff you can do. And um, this is different color correction to before gradient map. And I could try another one for like the hint. If we want this time, I'm feeling like a hint of green to kind of bring out the greens in it. Maybe I'll do a dark yellow, and then I'll do a, a kind of lightish green. Kind of like that. I mean, for the hints, don't bother making the yellow come out more. Like, you know what I meant by moving the thing in the middle. This thing. And just, as I said for the hints, overlay. And then turn it down to, like, 35. Or maybe less or more. But it brings out a nice hint in the in the picture. I mean, these are just my things. My, my tips. What I've practice experimented with and I think they actually look really nice on images I mean we were gonna do this on um 
three guys want to, I haven't really told them yet, which is a bit uh, dodgy, but, I mean, a lot of people have been asking, and I'm sorry, Mike and Kieran, but I think on Saturday we should do a modelling tutorial, because Kieran's beast at modelling. But yeah, and anyway, uh, thanks for the views, guys. Um, you're probably a bit bored of my voice now, but I haven't had... Shut up, Nick. We <laughs> haven't had time... I haven't had time for like speed ups and stuff because I've got exams and revision and just got lots of work for people as well. Psychology tomorrow. Ugh. At least I'm in Spanish. I'm Spanish. Anyway, see you guys.